days for life started. It would be encouraging for some of us that have been around a few years to see a crowd like this interested in getting started. A whole lot of new faces out there and a lot of familiar faces that I recognize. But I thought it would be appropriate that we spend two or three minutes tonight to remember why you all are here. It's kind of hard to believe that you are here because of the actions of people 40 years or more ago. Those few people in our area that started the whole pro-life movement. They and their spirit are still alive through you. But I think it's very appropriate to recall a few of their prominent names and tell a little bit of the history of the pro-life movement here in the San Bernardino Valley. First, I think we should mention Pam Reader. Probably half this group probably knows her. She's no longer with us. She's died a few years back. But over 40 years ago, she started and organized the groups that went out in front of abortion clinics to pray, to pray for the end of abortion. That was long before Planned Parenthood was even in town. She was here, she organized groups to pray as those itinerant abortionists came to town one day a week probably performed abortions and then went away and left the community. When Planned Parenthood did decide to build a clinic here in town, she organized that same diverse group of people in the town to storm the city council chamber to try to stop them from even having a clinic here in town. She was very successful in delaying their building for over a year and a half. She was also successful in denying them any, what they call community development block grant money, federal money that would filter down to the local community, supposedly, to build up that community. She denied them through your actions and your prayers from having any of that money. Pat, we love you as long as we are here. Another name worth mentioning is uh, Carol Madonna. She, I believe, was our first sidewalk counselor. She started all by herself, scared as could be, out in front of the Planned Parenthood when they did decide to build that place. She would be there, rain or shine, much to the chagrin sometimes of uh, her husband Stan, who were afraid that she would be catching her death cold out there. But she kept coming back, coming back, coming back. She, too, is no longer with this. Say a little prayer for her. Also, much worthy of reference is Hortensia Polta. She and her husband David both died within a month of each other just a few weeks back. She was our first uh, bilingual sidewalk counselor. And she was very instrumental in organizing the Hispanic community here in town to come and join the pro life movement. Thank you, Carol. And thank you, Hortensia. Can't go without mentioning Steve McKenna. I didn't get to know Steve until uh, 15, 20 years ago, maybe. But what a joyful presence he was. Always wanted to be out there praying. The tradition at that time was to have a group praying in front of Planned Parenthood on the day that they actually performed the surgical abortions. And then to go away. Steve said, well, why do we why can't we be here all the time? Why just one day a week? How about five days a week? So lo and behold, there was a prayer presence out there because of Steve and his cohorts for five days. Even though there weren't any abortions being committed that particular day, they were there praying for the mothers that might be considering it. Don't forget John Nagy. What a wonderful presence he was. I always remember him for singing a song. He was always singing. Would you believe he was on the streets praying up until a few days before he died at the age of 96? He was out there at the age of 96 trying to keep the young ones alive. All of those I've mentioned have passed. But I can't leave this podium without mentioning a couple of very strong pro-lifers that have been in the movement for probably 30-some years. 
And that's Max and Juanita Paskin. And they're here. I'd like to call them, I don't know, our senior prayer warriors, or maybe our most seasoned prayer warriors, most devoted ones. They have loved well over several thousand hours of praying in front of Planned Parenthood. Maybe 10,000. But they're out there again. There's current uh, physical limitations. Keep them from being there five days a week like they used to be. But they're going to get signed up for this 40 days for life. I saw their names on the roster. God bless you for coming back. I know there are many, many others that were very instrumental in making things happen years ago. But thank them, remember them as you're praying in front of the uh, abortion clinic. Remember them, their spirit is still alive in you. And let's continue, let's make sure that spirit stays alive as your presence out there. Thank you.